Last year, Apple announced its self-repair service program for the iPhone, and now it's officially launching, allowing users to repair iPhone 12s, 13s, and the third generation SE at home. Apple says that genuine repair manuals and Apple parts and tools will be available in a new self-service repair store. In this store, customers will have access to over 200 individual parts and tools. At first, the store will include tools for only the iPhone 12 and 13 lineups and that third generation iPhone SE, as I just mentioned earlier, but the company says it plans to expand the store with tools and manuals and parts for Macs with Apple Silicon chips later this year. Now, if you want to make a repair, you'll need to first review the repair manual for the product and the specific repair on Apple's support website. After, you'll be able to order the required parts and tools from the self-service repair store and begin the initial repair. All the tools and parts offered in the store undergo extensive testing to ensure the highest quality, safety, and reliability, at least according to Apple. So here's the thing, this all sounds great for you know the right to repair and for those who want to repair their own iPhones rather than being potentially charged more by Apple. Uh, but after going through the checkout process specifically for what we picked and getting the rental kit and the parts and everything, uh, it was well over $1,200. Now, the actual tools and materials that I'm responsible for is around 119, but the rest is to ensure that Apple gets its massive toolkit back after I finish up the repair. So this is just an authorization charge, kind of holding it just in case I decide not to send the rental kit back. Never mind the inconvenience of having to lug these giant kits around to and from your house in order to ship it back to Apple. Now, thankfully, Apple does cover shipping, but still, this seems like an unnecessary hassle, and I'm guessing that's kind of the point. On its self-service repair website, Apple says that the rental kits include two cases, one weighing 43 pounds and the other weighing 36 pounds. Now, if you stack that on top of each other, the cases will measure 20 inches in width and 47 inches in height. Now, thankfully, both cases do include wheels, so it's easier to transport, but again, this just seems like a pretty big hassle. Now. I ordered a iPhone 12 mini battery replacement kit and the toolkit to do all of the work that's required. And all of that costs more than just bringing the phone to Apple and paying $69 if you don't have Apple Care. And if you do have Apple Care, then obviously just bring it in and they'll fix it for no charge. I think the value is there for other major repairs like screen or glass replacements and components like Face ID, etc. But I don't know that it's worth it for something like the battery. If it wasn't for this channel and making a video on the whole process, there's absolutely no chance that I would make this repair on my own. I'm also the, like the least handy person of all time. And even though this is different than like fixing something around the house, I'd still be pretty nervous that I would just further damage the phone by messing something up or making the battery explode in my face or something. If you can, it might be better to just order the official certified parts from Apple, do not get the rental kit, and maybe bring it into one of your local stores that fixes iPhones. At least at that point, you know that they're using official OEM parts. Or hopefully, in the future, they just start ordering official parts from Apple, and uh, you won't have to worry about that, and maybe it's a little bit cheaper than taking it to Apple directly. Of course, I'd love to know your thoughts on all of this in the comments down below. Is this something that you're planning on doing for your device, and do you think it's worth it, rather than just kind of bringing it into an Apple store and letting them take care of it, which is probably something I would do, especially since our iPhone 12 mini's battery is totally fine, but we are doing this for you guys so that you can see what it's like when you get all the tools and the kit and everything. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that video when we get our kit. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.